Hey howdy hey guys, welcome back for more of my Toy Story videos. Now this is a bit of a different video, this is more a, I guess a concept and I really hope maybe one day Mattel could see this. These are some uh, some ideas that I hope maybe Mattel can sort of bring their new waves and new figures and especially what they've been doing lately with the Stinky P and the Rocky and bringing some back classic characters and some, well, some new film characters. Now these are just my ideas, they're not really official and let's just hope Mattel kind of listen to them. So what we got here is a classic Bo Peep pack. Now they only done a Toy Story 4 Bo Peep but it would be really cool to get a classic movie one from the first film and I thought Mattel loved doing these two packs so it would be great to have Woody and Bo Peep together. So these two actually are my favourite and I really hope Mattel makes a Wheezy and a Mr. Mike kind of figure. Um, I know Weezy will probably be hopefully slightly in scale with the larger toys so it's kind of like a win-win to whoever's collecting these toys and I absolutely love Mr. Mike, he's one of the classical characters. Another great pack would be is the Potato Heads and I don't know if it could be the right issues by Hasbro but we haven't really got a actual 6 inch Potato Head from the Mattel toy line or even before from like the previous Toy Story toys. And why not bring Mrs. Potato Head involved and sort of have them in a two pack? Now, just like the Prospect has his own box, I think it'd be pretty cool to do a two pack of when Woody meets Buzz and you get a sort of like an accurate spaceship. Um, but yeah, this is one of also one of my high top lists. Especially you get the Space Ranger Buzz and Woody. Now, here are some more two packs. Uh, you can sort of see Etched Sketch and the Mutant Toys, uh, Mr. Spell, and I guess we can get the uh, Toy Story 2 Rex from the video game um, Fishbowl Head. Um, but yeah, I think that would be pretty cool to sort of give some other characters in these more other packs, uh, especially added some more Andy's toys in these uh, wave. Some more other packs, so these are more from Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4. I think we'll add a bit of Ken and Barbie as a figure. Um, Especially with some Lotso and uh, I think Trixie is one of the most popular Bonnie's toys. And also Billy Groat and Griff would be a great pack for Bo Peep. Now this is a free pack and I thought why not add two of the Andy's toys and um, one of my favourite Andy's toys is the robot and the snake so uh, I think it would be a great pack to have Buzz with it because you sort of need one of the main characters to get the toys. Um, get the figures selling so have Buzz with the sort of a free pack with the snake and the robot. Now this is a Sid's house pack and why not add Scud in this pack because I think he's a very popular character in Toy Story 1 uh, especially from the games and I remember he used to have a, a McDonald's figure uh, I believe Burger King and yeah I just get those three figures together because he was he had a big part in the film. Now this is sort of a exclusive 4 pack and why not think of Woody's Roundup? Now this is actually going to be sort of an Owl's Apartment because that's why I included Prospect in this box. So this is not from the Woody's Roundup cartoon, well from the series. Uh, I got one separate for that but this is definitely going to be sort of a scene from Owl's Apartment or from Toy Story 2. And just having all the gang together. Now here is another Toy Story 2 pack and this is the Owl's Toy Band pack. So this will probably include Tall Guide Barbie, Utility Belt Buzz and Zerg with the Iron Blaster because I don't believe Mattel has released Zerg with the Iron Blaster yet. Um, but yeah it would be also be cool to get a Tall Guide Barbie. Uh, she had a bit kind of a cool role in Toy Story 2. Now this pack is sort of meant to be like from the crossing scene so you got Rex, Slinky, Buzz, Ham and Potato Head. Sort of Buzz's mission gang where they're trying to rescue Woody. So sort of to celebrate that scene from Toy Story 2 and getting the whole toys together in one pack. Now here is Lotso's gang pack, uh, including the Sunnyside figures. Uh, you got Stretch, Sparks, Lotso, Twitch and Chunk and I think that would be a perfect pack to get. I did include Ken because I think that would make it even more expensive getting more figures in one pack. So I like, I like how I sort of made you can get Ken and Barbie separately. Um, but yeah, I think this would be a cool pack for collecting Toy Story 3 toys. So this pack is basically the mutant toys and I kind of miss seeing them in like, in especially Babyface and I hopefully we get some more Sid toys in the future. 
and I think why get some more of these figures in in one pack. Here is another Owl's Toy Bun pack. We include Rock'em Sock'em Robots and, and I'm going to include Slinky in this pack because he's the one actually asked them have you seen Woody. Um, funny enough they actually brought this in the actual Toy Story 2 line where it had Buzz and Zerg. So sort of a repack from that toy but I just include Slinky because I want it to be about Buzz and Zerg being a separate pack. Now this pack is sort of in a special edition and, and this is going to include black and white figures of the Woody's Roundup. So like I said this is actually the Woody's Roundup sort of television show pack and it'd be kind of interesting to get like a black and white version of these toys. Um, sort of something different so Mattel has like collectors can collect like buy other figures in their, in their waves. Here is another favourite and this is a very big pack and this is called Andy's Windows Pack which includes mainly the whole Andy's toys in Toy Story 1 uh, and especially the scene where Andy's window because you always see Bo Peep, Pam, Potato and Rex and Slinky and who can forget Lenny so this is sort of like a special edition Andy's room pack with all the Toy Story 1 characters and I guess this will be an expensive pack to buy and, and definitely worth it now a big idea I really hope Mattel starts doing is bringing back the 12 inch talking toys and um, they stopped making them around I guess before after 2015 or I could believe maybe 2017 I can't remember when they stopped making them but I would really like to try like get these articulated and the toys they used to make were so great um, and now they can maybe like make what, maybe other characters like Zerg or Prospector or just how like Finkway are doing it but um, I definitely wish maybe Mattel can start bringing back these accurate toys and getting some great head sculpts and they've done a great job before. So there you have it guys. Thank you for sort of listening to my sort of presentation but toy concept. I really hope Mattel kind of see this one day and maybe get inspired of making these characters. Um, comment down below what other characters do you think Mattel should make because there's so many Toy Story characters out there in this Toy Story universe. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and Bodo out.